After learning the skeletons of two women had been discovered in the woods off Carolina Beach Road last April, Leslie White's as he called the Wilmington Police Department. White, who has a criminal record which includes drug possession, solicitation of prostitution, and armed robbery, suspected they would soon call him, and he wanted to tell police he wasn't involved. Hey, look, I called them when they first, when I first seen that stuff in the paper where they found them. I called them and told them, said, hey, I used to live back there, you know, a while ago, right? I said, you you might find some things back there that belong to me or whatever, right? I mean, I called them when I seen the article, right? Who did you call? The Wilmington PD. What did he tell you? When you told him he used to live in this spot. He told him, he said, don't worry about it till we come knocking on your door. That was... On Sunday, White agreed to show the Star News where he stayed at times in 2006. I called him because I know that I used to stay back here, and I know somewhere close to here, <clears throat> you know, somewhere between here and the woods, I, I think, well, you know where they found them at, right? Do you, know, do you want me to show you where they found yeah. them? Yeah. You're, you're within 10 feet of where they found them. After White revealed where he slept in 2006, he was guided a few strides into the woods in the 3500 block of Carolina Beach Road and shown the memorials to Angela Nobles Rothen and Allison Jackson Foy. They were both in the same spot? Yeah, kind of here. Well, where was Angie? Where was she? I don't care. The other girl, I, I never knew her. I was one of them. I don't know where she had Angie at, so I don't know where to put my flower at. They got one cross for two people, right? Looking through a few trees to his former sleeping spot, White, White said he was shocked by how close the spot was to where the bones were found. No, that's my private spot over there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Over there. Yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah, no, I was in. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know. I never smelled nothing funny, man. And Is that you were? If you were staying here and the body was dumped right over there, do you surprised you didn't see it or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, but I, that's why I told you I don't think they've been there that long. Cause you know, somebody would have. You got all them buildings over there. Somebody would have smelled something, right? So I don't think they laid there that long. I mean, I don't know. You don't. So you don't think it was here in 2006? I never smelled that. Yeah. He had known Nobles Rothen from downtown Wilmington, where he once lived. White said he slept outside in a lean-to near an alley off Fifth Street. Bush, a little tarp that I stayed up in. And yeah. That was where I, that, that was where I made my, that was that was where I camped. That was that was my tent. And Nobles Rothen worked as a prostitute and solicited clients at a bus stop near the corner of Fifth and Mere Streets, two blocks away. When I got off work, she was just coming out. She slept during the day. She didn't, you know, she didn't slept during the day. She slept. So when I was getting off work. You know, we would meet and, you know, I'd get her high. And, and then during the night, as she, you know, because when she made the money and got her, you know, she needed somewhere, I guess, you know, you know, where she could sit down and relax and not worry, right? But it was the, yeah, we, we, we was, she was a good girl. She was all right. So you guys are just friends, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White said he chose to sleep beside the woods behind businesses on Carolina Beach Road because the area seemed secluded. This is the place where I come when I wanted to, you know, I didn't have to worry about nobody bothering with me, no, nothing happening. I didn't have to worry about no bunch of drama, no bunch of bull. So you're secluded. Yeah, yeah. I come, this is where I come when I wanted to get the hell away from everybody and, and have some quiet time for myself. So this is your kind of own private spot. Yeah. Hey. Though he was friends with Noble Ro Nobles Roth, and she never visited him there. He said. And you weren't, what? you didn't hang out with Angie here like you did the other. No, no. Never seen her down this way. Never seen her down this way. She she was always down there at Fifth and Mears, man. That was her. That was her spot. In April 2008, when bones were discovered. When bones were discovered and police scoured the area, White says he worried his DNA would still be on old beer cans nearby. If investigators did find DNA, White said, it would match samples authorities took from him after his prior convictions. Because I knew they was going to find a bunch of beer cans and beer bottles and stuff back here, you know, that, that pretty much where I've been staying at, right? And, you know, I know my DNA is on their profile, right? So when they swabbed in beer cans and beer bottles, I didn't want them, I didn't want them, Coming to me, asking you know, asking you know, give me a hard time. What do you mean your DNA is on those profiles? You know, I was arrested for armed Oh, you know that. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah. So they they log that stuff. Yeah, anybody's convicted of a felony, they 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 take your blood, and put your DNA in a database. Yeah. White, 41, of Wilmington, is at least the second man whose past connects him to the area near the busy commercial stretch of Carolina Beach Road where the bodies were found. In an affidavit requesting a search warrant. Police said Tim Iannone, 47, of New Hanover County, has a history of assaulting prostitutes and that one of the incidents occurred on Raleigh Road, which is in the general vicinity of where the bones were found. Both White and Iannone deny any involvement in the murders. 
On Wednesday, White met with Wilmington police detectives to show them where he used to stay. Following the meeting, Detective Lee Odom said White was interviewed as a potential witness and that his information on Nobles Rothen, as well as the Carolina Beach Road location, could be helpful to the police investigation. Odom said police have no reason to believe White was involved with the deaths. I'd like to say that nobody I know is you know, capable of doing what was done to them two ladies right there, right? 